Yo, what's up guys? It's Legacy FM back with another Fortnite video. In today's video, I'll be telling you guys my practice routine, the best practice routine to get better at keyboard and mouse. Alright guys, if you learn anything new in this video, make sure you hit that like and the subscribe button with the notification bell on because I post every single day. So make the grind worth it. Also use creator code I'm Legacy and Item Shop. It expires every two weeks to support me. And let's get right into this video, guys. Alright guys, so when you start off, you want to free build for about 30 to 45 minutes. And this is not an exaggeration, guys. You need to free build when you first start off. It gets your hands warmed up, but it also allows you to learn new stuff, alright guys? Now many people do not know what to practice whenever free building, so I'm going to kind of tell you what to do. First off, start off doing things you already learned or things you kind of already know how to do. If you're just starting out on keyboard and mouse, of course you don't know anything to do, so that's where the next one tip will come in. But if you're if this is like your first or second day, start off with stuff you already know, like 90s or double edits, just to get warmed up already. And then after that, you guys want to spend the rest of like the 25 to 30 minutes just learning things new. If you don't know how to 90, practice that until you get it down. You want to practice it until you get it down. And until you get nice with it and learn it completely like i still don't i'm still still learning my 90s a little bit they're not as consistent as i want to when i'm just warming up also guys learn like triple edits just learn something that you do not already know and challenge yourself because that's what's gonna make you better and improve every single time you free build and once you learn most of the basics then you want to start learning high ground retakes that's how you will get really good but I kind of test on this on my seven tips um, of how to switch to keyboard and mouse last video. So if you didn't check that one out, make sure you check that one out. But let's get into the second part of the routine. All right, guys. So the second part of your warm up, you do want to aim train. This is one of the most important things is getting your aim right on keyboard and mouse. One of the hardest things to learn because you got to get rid of aim assist and you got to learn your aim so use the code that's on top of the screen i also put it on the screen right now aim training is the best thing to do it to get you way better at keyboard and mouse you have tower frenzy right here let's go to medium time trial as you see right here kind of just do this so i'm gonna time lapse it right now show you guys my score how it scored Alright guys, and after you see your score, you want to start setting goals for yourself. This is really going to improve you. I know it sounds silly, but set a goal of what you want your score to be. Let's say 61. Say the next time you go in, you want to improve it a little bit and get 65, alright? Always set a goal for yourself. You can just click back to hub and shoot it. You could also do the horizontal time trial. And you see it's just like the one that my girl does. Whenever you want to go back to the hub, just, just dance. You can also do vertical time trial and you'll come up and you're just practicing your aim trying to get them dead before he makes it to the end and then the last one that I like to do and suggest is the my girl classic something that I usually need work on just because of my, my steer edits you just replace wall and shoot it it's the best thing to do guys Those are the four ones that I suggest to do whenever you're aim training. Now let's get into the third part. Oh, by the way, guys, do this for about 30 minutes. Let's get to the next part. Now the next part is doing edit courses. I do have a whole video on, on edit courses that are very good and helpful. So um, I'll put that in the description for you guys. And make sure you're doing edit courses for about five, about about 20 to 30 minutes. Those are really important. It is easier, significantly easier to edit a keyboard and mouse than it was on a controller. But still, you need to practice it. And guys, last but not least, it's right before arena solos. You want to practice fighting. So you can either do 1v1 realistics or you could come over here to the matchmaking practice maps. And these are very helpful. You can do the box fight zone wars, clicks box fights with a duo, BHE 1v1 build fights, tilted zone wars, 
anyone you believe will help you. I'm telling you guys, these are really helpful. It will really help you do this. Do those for about 45 minutes to an hour. And then play arena solos for the rest of the time you have. Just W King. And I promise you guys, you will become better at keyboard and mouse instantly. Like, you will get so good at keyboard and mouse if you just stick to this routine. I promise you guys, you will become very good with it. If this video helped you all make sure you leave a like on it and hit that subscribe button also and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out